Hi, this is Scott with Let's Keep It Simple, and today we have a simple video on how to add an interactive home screen to your Apple TV. It includes a wallpaper slideshow, a screensaver, and a custom weather forecast. First, you're going to want to go to this website, which the link can be found in the description, and download these files. Once that's done, locate them on your desktop, and you're going to want to open up your SSH client like Cyberduck or WinSCP for Windows. Next, you're going to want to drag those five files into Cyberduck or WinSCP as shown in the video. Now using Cyberduck or Terminal or WinSCP, you're going to type in the following commands, which are also in the link. A few problems that could arise is the formatting of the text when you're copying and pasting it, so just make sure that it looks right. Once they've all downloaded, you will kill all low tide, and it'll reboot your Apple TV like shown. And when it comes back up, it will look like this. Now scroll over to settings, you'll have a new option down there called custom settings. And here you can change your weather. Do this, you'll click enter, and then you'll scroll down to main menu weather. Click enter again and search. And then you can just type in your place. I'm in Huntington Beach, California. Add it, go to the city you input, go to time zone and you can change your time zone. Los Angeles is mine and then save. And then you'll hit set activate on main menu and you did it. Good job. Just back out of everything to see the changes. There you can see on the top left, I got Huntington Beach, California. Now the next thing that you can do is to change the screensaver, which is really easy. And you can see that I did it on the Apple TV. The way we'll do that is we'll go back into Cyberduck and we'll grab the photo that we want and drag and drop it into the same part where we dragged the application. Then we'll go to custom settings and screensaver settings and you will go to select folder. Oh, and make sure that your device is enabled, not disabled. And you go to select folder and then you just look for the file name and voila, you did it. I hope you found this video simple and helpful. For more videos, please subscribe. Thank you for watching.